folks. This is going to be for this is going to be some spicy discourse. Man removed from heart transplant list for being unvaccinated gets emergency pump. Um. Here we go, folks. It's happening. The 31-year-old father who was removed from the heart transplant list at a Boston hospital because he refuses to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Now, again, there is a difference, a very big difference between refusing to get the vaccine and being unvaccinated. There are certain people that have certain immunocompromisation disorders that make them not able to actually take the vaccine or the vaccine won't have much effect because of the way their body works. That is a different thing compared to the other 90% of the fucking country that doesn't have those issues and can and should get the vaccination but refuses to do so. Get your fucking shot, bitch. You're not a fucking child. You're an adult. We are in society. Do you stop at red lights? Do you stop at stop signs? Do you wear a seatbelt? If the answer to all these questions is yes, then get the fucking vaccine, you stupid ass loser. That being said, let's keep going. DJ Ferguson's family has said he was first on the list to receive the transplant at Brigham and Women's Hospital. But that he was no longer eligible because of his vaccination status. On Tuesday, the father of two received a, me a mechanical heart pump called the left ventricular blah 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 that should keep him alive for up to five years. For the foreseeable future, he won't be able to shower. He won't be able to swim. He won't be able to have a life. David, his father, David Ferguson, told the news outlet. Despite the open heart surgery, Ferguson still needs a transplant urgently due to his rapid blah blah blah. Led down a pathway to stop doing procedures. Like, okay, great. Uh, he's deteriorated so much. Oh, poor baby. Uh, it's terrible. It sucks. His nurses are amazing. I'm sure they are. Having that dangled over our head last minute. Okay, blah. David Ferguson has said his son doesn't believe in the COVID-19 vaccine. Now, my question is, what the fuck does that mean? You don't believe in it? As in, it doesn't exist? Because I got it. I got three of the motherfuckers. Like, I, like I've got, like, you know... I got, like, I, I went to the goddamn pharmacy and I got a fucking vaccine. So what do you mean you don't believe in it? I'm assuming they don't believe in the efficacy of it because he's a goddamn idiot. But to say that he doesn't believe in it, I don't even, it's kind of against his basic principles. He doesn't believe in it. It's a policy they're enforcing. So because he won't get the shot, they took him off the list. Like what? Okay. This is the thing that's fucking crazy here. Uh, this is the thing that's fucking crazy here. Um, is that he's in a hospital. How can you not believe in vaccines and then also go to a hospital for a fucking heart transplant? What? The parents later insisted their son does not oppose vaccines, saying he just worries the jab would complicate his heart condition. I would, I don't know, ask a doctor about that. But I mean, I guess like I understand like they're going to interview. He's not an anti-vaxxer. He has all of his vaccines and he's an informed patient who's concerned because of his current cardiac crisis. I like... Okay, I'm interested in a doctor saying that. I'm interested in a doctor's analysis of that, personally. Um, we do everything we can to ensure the patient, blah, blah, blah. I ribbon mom and dad. There you go. Patients are not active on the wait list. The hospital denied the candidate could be first on the list, blah, blah, blah. Hospital, okay. Like, okay. Now, again. If it were the case that he is actually at a doctor recommended advice, not able to take the vaccine, then obviously this is horrible. But again, I don't care what his parents who are not doctors have to say about it. I don't care what he who is not a doctor has to say about it. Again, I'll, like my thing is, again, if you refuse to get vaccinated when you're able to do so, I do believe that you, you should not be allowed to have a heart transplant. I do believe that you should be kicked out of an ICU bed. I just believe that because like, again, there are, we reading all these stories where people that have genuine uh, medical emergencies, like someone got hit in a car crash, um, and was rushed to the emergency room, but they you know, the, they were short staffed and like the ICUs were all taken up by COVID patients, um, particularly that were unvaccinated. Right. So it's like, you know, I, I don't believe that if I get hit by a car that I deserve to die because some stupid dumb fuck who refused to get vaccinated is taking up an ICU bed. I don't believe that that's okay. Now, again, I also don't believe that if he was unvaccinated because of, of, of actual medical advice, like he could not have taken the vaccine. Otherwise, he would have had severe health outcomes or possibly, you know, like, like that's a, that's a whole different story. It doesn't, and if that's, if that was the case, wouldn't they have quoted a doctor? Wouldn't they have said like, oh yeah, my son's doctor said this. No, no, no. Like, his parents are just like, yo, my son's not crazy. Uh, he's not crazy. 
Please, I love him. He's not crazy, though, but I do love him, but he's not crazy. Uh, please, he's not crazy. I know he sounds crazy. I know there's no one out there can, that can say he's not crazy except us, and we're going to say he's not crazy. That's my... Like, if he's not crazy, I want to see someone else corroborate this. Uh, but anyway, um, my, my takeaway, fuck him. That's my takeaway.